Hello, this is a photo of my best friend and I when I started swimming at the age of five years old. I broke my first record when I was five years old. Swimming was one of the biggest parts of my life and the best parts of my life. All my friends were swimmers. I've been a provincial champion since the age of six. The year before I had the love of flocks in, I broke 10 club records. And over the years, I've gotten many medals. But my favorite medal is this one from August of 2016, where I got second place in the Open Water Championships at Nationals. I had many dreams, like maybe the Olympics, but for the next year, I was on track for Westerns, on track for Nationals, and also Canada Games. Everything was really going right, and I had a feeling that I was doing really great, and I knew that big things were going to happen for me. But unfortunately, my dreams were shattered right after I got the love of flocks in. Because immediately after, I started having symptoms. Like weird dreams, headaches, stress, anxiety, fatigue, joint pain, hair loss. I barely had the energy to go to school, let alone do any of my sports. I had to stop all sports. And I had to go see so many doctors and all of them said I shouldn't have got it, but half of them didn't even know how to help me or like what to do to treat it. I was in so much pain that when I did try and go back to swimming, I was, I really tried to push through it, but I was just an excruciating joint pain and it was really discouraging and I tried my best, but it was just swimming wasn't the same. It used to be like my outlet, my air, like it was everything. But when I went back, it was just so hard. And I really tried, but it was just so hard to get back into it. And I just, all my friends were swimmers and it just made me sad that I couldn't swim, and that I was in pain to swim. Right after having the love has literally changed my life, like flipped it around. I'm trying to make the best of it, like doing cross country and volleyball, which is less strenuous. But in the end, it's not the same as swimming. And I really do miss it, but I just couldn't deal with all the pain. And even after school, I would have to have naps because I'm so tired before I do anything. And I have to come home on the weekends and sleep. And even if I do go out for dinner, like I can't eat half the things because my stomach just get so bloated and hurt so much. I wish I could just go back to the day that I told my mom to go to the clinic because I had a stupid blister of pain under my foot. And I could just change that. And I wish that I could just make my life go back to normal the way that it was.